I think it's quite doomed to, to be unenforceable. A campaign promise from the NPA is raising legal concerns. If elected, the party, led by mayoral candidate Fred Harding, promises to pursue blanket no-goes on certain violent offenders, preventing them from entering the city of Vancouver. One of the principal roles of, of the mayor is to make sure that the people within the jurisdiction are safe. Harding says this comes in response to unprovoked stranger attacks, which the Vancouver Police Department says is an assault that involves a victim and suspect suspect who don't know each other. The VPD says these kinds of crimes have increased in the city. The most recent on Sunday, a 29-year-old woman thrown to the ground and assaulted. A 19-year-old man was arrested, charged and then released. The no-goes are written into the criminal code. We're going to make sure that the no-goes are used to their best effect. And people like this commit stranger attacks, violent stranger attacks, procuring a child for sexual purpose or using violence in a domestic violence situation are completely excluded from the city of Vancouver. This would not pass public scrutiny and it would not pass uh, legal scrutiny. But Pivot Legal Society says blanket restrictions on where people can go are not constitutional and at odds with human rights. Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms gives us a guaranteed right to mobility. All Canadian citizens and permanent residents have the right to live or seek work anywhere in Canada. And we also have protection against unreasonable laws. It's going to cause more problems than, than it would even remotely begin to solve, assuming it could be implemented in the first place. Criminologist Brian Kinney says while orders that forbid people from getting too close to a specific area or person exist, this is different. Not being able to be in community X or Y would require some kind of active screening, would require checks, road checks, um, very expensive and militaristic kinds of checkpoints. And I think that's um, not really viable, realistic, affordable. And Pivot says this wouldn't address the root causes of social issues. It's not going to help break the cycle of incarceration. And it would actually force people into other nearby municipalities in BC where they won't have access to their friends or family, um, their community services and, and supports, whatever they rely on. But Harding argues a no-go wouldn't breach offenders' human rights. The rights of the people is to walk around the streets safe. Uh, uh, safe from harm and safe from the fear of harm. That's everybody's fundamental human right. Vancouver's election is October 15th. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.